Welcome to the Great Find India. And today we're going to talk about dishwashers and how to use them in India. Um, if you're a newbie to dishwashers like I was about a month ago, you probably have a lot of questions. Whether Indian vessels will work in a dishwasher, what dishwashers to buy, what detergents to buy, what are the prerequisites and so on. So today I'm going to demystify a, a lot of that. So post the lockdown, I had to actually buy whatever dishwasher was available. A lot of dishwashers are out of stock, still are out of stock. So I purchased the Faber dishwasher and frankly, I've never been happier. It does a great job. And finally, the results actually depend on what detergents or tablets you are using. So today I'm going to demystify using dishwashers in India. What are the prerequisites? How you can load and unload a dishwasher? What are the before and after results? and what Indian vessels you can and cannot use for your dishwashers. So let's get started. So before you install, let's assume you've already bought your dishwasher or are planning to buy your dishwasher. Let's talk about what other prerequisites you require for your dishwasher itself. If you like me are using your dishwasher in the same space as your washing machine, you probably need a power uh, outlet for, for um, 16 amps for both your washing machine and your dishwasher plug point. So that's the first one. All of these links will be in the description of the video. The second and most important one is your converter. This converter is required to connect your dishwasher inlet with your water tap. Most dishwashers don't come with it and you probably will need to purchase it externally uh, from a vendor. So I'm going to link to that as well. Again, since I'm using my washing machine and dishwasher in the same uh, area, I needed a two valve uh, faucet. Uh, so I have an inlet for both my washing machine and the dishwasher. And then I also needed a double hole drain as well. Uh, and that all of these were purchased on Amazon and uh, will be linked below. The next thing you need to add is the dishwasher salt in that location. And then uh, you also need to be aware of um, where to clean your dishwasher and this needs to be done every month or so it may be in different places in different dishwashers but um, but it actually ca collects a lot of grunt from your dishwasher the other prerequisite is the rinse aid um, the rinse aid is uh, something that is required to make sure that water droplets do not remain on your uh, vessels and minerals don't remain on your vessels once the washing process is done uh, you need to add top up your rinse aid um, once in a while your dishwasher will give you an indicator when your rinse aid is um, over and you need to refill your rinse aid while we wait for this to fill up um, let's talk a little bit about the dishwasher salt that we added earlier so the dishwasher salt is required to soften the water that comes into your dishwasher so that you're not actually washing your vessels with hard water but rather with soft water um, it is a prerequisite sometimes a lot of tablets uh, if you're using tablets they say that you do not need uh, dishwasher salt or rinse aid but uh, uh, the recommendation is that you add both of them uh, even if you are using a tablet. Now let's start loading your dishwasher. So different dishwashers have different levels. Uh, mine has three levels. The bottommost level is what gets the maximum heat and that's where I put my dirtiest uh, vessels as well as my plates. The middle level is uh, where I put glassware, uh, coffee mugs, tea mugs, um, and um, you know uh, vessels that are not as soiled and the top rack is where I put spoons and cutlery now you need to make sure that you do not overload your dishwasher do not place items one on top of the other the, the bottom surface or the dirty surface should be um, exposed to the fan that is below uh, below the trays and make sure that you do not overload it with or pile it on with a lot of items. Of course, in this case, my dishwasher has not been completely loaded yet, uh, and I would turn it on once the load is complete. The same goes with the spoons and cutlery rack as well. Do not pile them one on top of the other. So let's get started. 
Uh, I am currently using a tablet. This is a crystal tablet. I will do a separate video uh, comparing various detergents and tablets. But um, in this case, I'm using a crystal tablet. I turn on the dishwasher. There are various different modes that I will wa walk you through. Uh, this particular setting is to set a timer of when you want to start your dishwasher itself. There are various different settings. Uh, different dishwashers have different settings available. Mine has an eco mode, um, a delicate mode for glassware, uh, an intense mode, a quick cycle mode, uh, a rinse only mode and various different such modes. Normally I do not use most of those modes. I only use the auto mode that you are actually seeing uh, right now and that gives me the best results so far uh, with in my dishwasher experience. While I set the cycle, uh, now let's take a look at what some dishwasher unsafe vessels are. And we use a lot of these in India. We need to make sure that we don't use it in a dishwasher unless it is explicitly stated that it is dishwasher safe. The first is aluminium vessels. It gets discolored. There is a chemical reaction to it and definitely should not be used. So that includes your kadais and your uh, pressure cookers as well. You also should not use hard anodized aluminium this for the same reason. Wooden vessels and wooden spoons should not be used uh, as well as plastics which, unless it explicitly states that uh, that particular plastic is dishwasher safe. I am excited to take a look at the results, especially the first time I ran my dishwasher. Uh, a dishwasher in the dishwasher your vessels really do not move so you will see the dishwasher vessels same like how you would have placed your vessels uh, it's only the fans on um, above and below the trays that do the job but look at the results i was so excited to see it the first time it happened and i and that depends on the detergent that you use which i will cover in my next video so stay tuned thanks for watching